Hey guys, it's Jack Queen and what the fuck has been going on in the news this week? Man, what a fucking shit show we have. Pepsi Company has landed itself in a bit of hot water this week. I'm really sorry to start this off on such a soft topic. You get it? Cause, cause, cause soft drink, soft topic. Puns, puns, puns! Drawing advertising from YouTube because it was being posted on offensive media that it didn't agree with, and yet posted a video with Kendall Jenner believing that Pepsi could save the entire world. And if you're not sure what I mean by that, then I'll do a quick summary. Kendall Jenner poses for photo shoot, big protests in the street alongside her, whips her for a blonde wig, Goes through the crowd to give security guard a Pepsi can. Don't worry lads, I got this one. Guard takes a sip and has the time of his life. And so, world peace has been restored. Oh, well done. I'm sorry, but this just shows how backward the world has become now. It's bad enough that we think Pepsi can save the world, but Kendall Jenner, the ambassador? I mean, really? Fucking hell. Couldn't it just be Kanye instead? But the best thing to come out of this was a tweet from Bernice King, Martin Luther King Jr's daughter, who tweeted this. If if only daddy had known about the power of Pepsi. I think I know who won that argument. Oh, you beauty! No, I know this isn't something to really make light of, but the tweets, they just kept coming in. Yo, Kendall, we need your Pepsi right about now. Life under apartheid would have been so much easier had Pep gave Kendall Jenner a case of Pepsi to relieve their oppression. Now, in fairness, Pepsi did remove the advert, but not before it could be posted around by everybody else in social media. Someone in PR is definitely getting sat for this. Now I know which side I stand on. Right, United Airlines. If you don't know about this one, where the fuck have you been? The doctor called David Dayer was dragged off a United Airlines flight because it was overbooked and they didn't have room for their cabin crew. This is the same company that told an eight year old girl that she couldn't get on a plane because she was wearing leggings which were deemed inappropriate to fly with. Alleged United prohibited two young girls from boarding a flight in Denver because they were wearing leggings. I wore spandex all the time. I'd rather fly with Ryanair. And they tried to defend it in numerous ways. So like, we, we voted you like, like off the plane. It's all right, like we've selected four people at random. I'm not going. I'll give them nothing, nothing, nothing. I can just imagine how the conversation went. Right, mate, I've said to you, if you don't get off this plane, right, we're gonna drag you off. Okay. Are you gonna get off this plane? No. Right, we'll put you in prison as well. Okay. Right, let's take him off. Would you mind knocking me unconscious of all the headrests and then making my shirt roll up? Yeah, sound, mate, no problem. Kind of looks like someone you'd expect to see in championship poker. They managed to get him off the plane before he escaped and then got back onto the plane with his head bleeding. One newspaper was even saying that our mate David over there was offering prescription drugs to one of his patients to solicit gay sex that his wife wouldn't find out about. Right, what source is this? Surprise, motherfucker. Ah, that explains it. I, I'm sorry, right, but, but what's that got to do with dragging him off a plane? Like, if he's done something that's criminally wrong, then he should be charged for that on a separate count, not brought up because he got dragged off a plane, so a way to justify it is to say, eh, well, he's a criminal, so it's all right. And United Airlines only had this to say on the matter. Get off my plane. Donald J. Trump posted enough pictures of him over the last few weeks, so I figured I should probably start talking about him eventually. Launched 59 Tomahawk missiles attacking Syria, and he justified this because President Assad had launched chemical warfare, so he thought, hey, he may as well get amongst it. Meanwhile, sitting with China's president, eating a beautiful chocolate cake. Is this just, just, just have a look at this. When you were with the president of China, you're launching these military strikes. Uh, was that planned? Let me explain something to you. I have no idea how many people want to hear the answer to this. I was sitting at the table. We had finished dinner. We're now having dessert. And we had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen. It's brilliant. It's genius. President Xi was enjoying it. We made a determination to do it. Do it! So the missiles were on the way. President Xi was enjoying it. We've just fired 59 missiles. This is during dessert. All of which hit, by the way. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking. Right, just to round this video off with something a little bit lighter from what we've been talking about this week, here's some goats doing some parkour. Oh, 
Billy, mate. You're fucked up, you prick. Better than these guys, for sure. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do, and take care for now. My name is Jack Queen. Rock on! <laughs>